friends welcome to my channel my name is Wolo I want to say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and um, I know everybody's excited because um, Trudeau won the elections and um, it's he won but he didn't win majority government so let me explain how it works but before I go into that let me say thank you to everyone who have subscribed to my channel and have seen my videos so back straight to elections and politics I am not a political person, but I like to keep myself informed so that I am aware of policies that might affect me or anything or anybody I know. So this is it. This is how the um, government of Canada works. The government of Canada um, operates what is called a parliamentary government. And in the House of Commons, they have 338 seats. And those 338 seats are supposed to be occupied by members of parliament. So what it means is if a party wins 170 seats, that party forms the majority government and they get to make the decisions, the legislations and everything themselves without the support or interference of any other party. But if the party does not win 170 seats, they will have to um, form a minority government. And a minority government means they will need to seek the support of other smaller parties to make a legislation concerning policies and any priorities that um, comes as the day goes by or as they you know, make their laws and all that. So that is what is now happening. The Trudeau government was formerly a majority government now it is a minority government because they won only 157 seats i'm not so sure of the figure but i know they won um about 150 something seats i can't mention the figures so that is why um, it is a minority government so what it means now is the Trudeau government has to seek support from any of the smaller parties now in seeking support they have three options the first option is the coalition option now, a coalition government means they will have to look for another party that has similar policies, similar priorities like their own party and have an agreement with the party um, to make legislation. So that's the first option, the coalition option. And Trudeau has um, mentioned that he might make a coalition um, with the Bloc Québécois or um the ndp actually you know uh, mentioned the coalition initially when they like when the campaigns were ongoing but trudeau didn't really say anything about coalition with the ndp so that's by the way for coalition the next option is the case by case option and for case by case it means the liberal party can just say you know what I'm not going to be, I'm not going to have form a coalition with any party. I will just um, do it on a case by case basis. So let's say they want to uh, make a legislation concerning healthcare or concerning immigration. They will look for a party that has a similar priority or similar policy like theirs and fine tune it and, you know, talk to the party to support them to make that legislation. So they, in that way, they are not stuck to one particular party like a coalition a coalition government is they will be stuck to that particular smaller party but a case-by-case -case option gives them the freedom to choose amongst other parties so it might be that their policies aligns with maybe a green party or maybe a bloc quebecois or maybe the ndp or maybe the PPC or maybe the conservatives as their major opposition so if they feel that they have a similar policy that aligns they will talk to any of the parties to support them and make the legislation so that's a case-by-case -case option and that is what Harper did during his um, tenure when he had a minority government before Trudeau came into power so that's the second option then the third option is confidence and supply agreement so the confidence and supply agreement is a situation where a party with fewer seats or smaller seats will support the minority government in exchange of lists in exchange of a list of priorities and policies 
so if uh, let's say an ndp can say okay you know what um these are my policies these are my priorities my i have priorities with regards to housing with regards to um, healthcare, with regards to um you know so many things climate change environment and all that these are my priorities i'm going to give you some of my seats or i'm going to give you seats so you just um take this and um implement them so that's the supply agreement option minority government cannot just make any legislation without the support of other parties so they have to decide on which one they will choose either they will choose a coalition a case by case or a supply and agreement um, option so these are the three options available now with regards to immigration because of these three options that are available minority government will have to seek a party that um their immigration policies align with theirs and um trudeau has hinted that he he might seek uh, a coalition with the bloc quebecois i am not so sure but i know that's what's been ongoing or they might do a case by case um option i'm not so sure so with regards to immigration the policies will remain the same the pathways will remain the same the only thing is if they will want to introduce something new or change anything or implement anyone they will have to you know seek the support of another party that is similar to to theirs and um there's another thing you need to know about the minority government if the minority government does not form a coalition and if they don't um if they are not able to implement legislations based on a case by case basis or case by case option it will trigger another election in two years or in a year time so that is the disadvantage of having a minority government so just keep your fingers crossed we don't know what the decisions might be if they decide to form a coalition um yeah it's a good one but if they can't form a coalition it will trigger another election by in, in in two years time yeah so that is how it works in canada so this is the information i want to share with regards to the politics and elections that has just taken place in canada and another thing is the rural and northern immigration pilot which is going to be kicking off next month next month is just few days away and i'll be doing a video about that so that everybody can take advantage of that pilot as soon as it starts because the most important thing is taking advantage of something when it starts the moment it becomes old it becomes very difficult and difficult to um get so i'll be discussing the rural and northern immigration pilot in my next video and i hope that people can take advantage of it thank you so much for watching and have a beautiful week ahead bye bye